Hey all, welcome back to my channel. This is me post getting my braids removed. <laughs> Forgive the sleepy face guys. I'm gonna be in sunglasses pretty much for most of this video. And what I wanted to do today was do five things on my mind but do it as I move along the day because I have a couple of errands um, hospital run because my due date is pretty close by which is why I'm so tired and ETC ETC so stay with me but one day one day I'm gonna rock this look because I like okay I'll see you guys hopefully when I look a bit more sane all right I feel very regal with this hair you did such a good job my hair's grown a fair bit I'm hoping I guess I'll braid soon I'm due like in two weeks um which is crazy and obviously it shows on my face because i am super exhausted not getting any sleep that sort of last leg of pregnancy so this video might be low energy i'm very sorry um but yeah why don't we get into the first thing on my mind by the way i'm vlogging at the nuella zuri spa they were just like it's okay use our room because you can't really vlog in a lot of malls right they give you issues so they were like it's fine the first thing on my mind is your girl is now a certified menstrual hygiene management trainer i attended a two-day training with people from the ngo world from government as well met an incredible group of people we were maybe 30 40 i hope i have the numbers right and it was intense but i just feel you know the way you feel like you're closer to your purpose and your calling that for me was the best part because i've always been so passionate about issues around uh, menstrual hygiene management and to be able to learn the way to communicate it to people, solve these issues, be a part of a movement that's seeking to end period poverty and improve matters around MHM, I feel accomplished in that sense. I'm very happy and I'm hoping I'll be able to fill you guys in big time, probably during or post maternity leave on MHM issues. So that's the first thing on my mind. I thank God, I'm super proud. I will not feel shy, I will take pride. I will spread the word outside and inside the home. Yay! The second thing on my mind is um, Better for Kenya in Kapenguria over the weekend. The project lead, Josephine Masharia, was able to join Tegla Lorupe and a group of incredible women and men in Kapenguria to talk about ending FGM. So I'm just incredibly proud of the team's efforts on the ground and the team's efforts to create a conversation around why gender equality works for both men and women and you know what's really great this time around we're seeing so much more engagement from men men in the community men in media um and these are really peers and people we know and we're hoping to bring those conversations to light in fact i'll link below a conversation that was done entirely by a group of men in media and sports but seeing them passionate and interested in addressing issues around gender equality, that for me is a huge leap forward because we need men um, to understand that women have the same rights as they do. So some beautiful pictures here, you know, Ambassador Tegla Rupa, she's an icon, we saw it in the previous video when I labeled her as such because she's used her platform to fight an injustice and an ill in her society and community. So super proud of the Better For Kenya team. A lot of you have been asking how you can join we will get you that information very soon i know i've said that before but stick with us and we'll tell you how so that's the second thing on my mind so the third thing that's on my mind i'm on route i'm sorry the lighting keeps changing i'm in a car it's moving too much and my hair is acting up the third thing on my mind is the arrest of bobby wine i mean this has been it's been over a week since this news made headlines he is a ugandan parliamentarian um has been known more as a musician. I remember listening to his music from a while back. And I think it's been so significant because of the um, reported or alleged torture and isolation that this man has faced simply for questioning the incumbent uh, Museveni's government. And you know, it really makes you realize that the tide is turning and that this kind of impunity it's unlikely to have any kind of longevity, at least not now. Kenya was really behind him in terms of the hashtag free Bobby Wine um, and protesting against his arrest. Canada, the UK, artists like Chris Martin of Coldplay, everyone speaking out and saying, you cannot stop people from expressing their political rights and their, their freedom of speech. You can't do that anymore. And for me, it's been upsetting watching it so much because he, 
in many ways is a voice for young people in Uganda. I don't want to speak for the country. I've just been reading a ton about it and he kind of is able to question the status quo in a way that they all want to, but he's brave enough to do it. He's young, he's passionate about his country. And so to see him have to undergo the kind of injustices that he has, being arrested for treason, um, you know, his wife went to see him and said he's in a really bad state. Being isolated from his friends and family, this impunity is insane. Africa needs to wake up. And a lot of countries in the world that think that that's something that's okay to do. It is ridiculous. So that's really been on my mind. And I totally join in the hashtag Free Bobby Wine and really hope that this can be a turning tide in things to come in Uganda. The fourth thing on my mind is the recent deaths that we saw making headlines it started with legendary musician queen of soul aretha franklin i remember first hearing her song i think when i watched my girl respct one of the greatest songs ever um and just the impact that she's had on soul and on the music industry in general so it was heartbreaking to lose such an icon followed very closely by kofi annan who that really hit me because for those who remember the signing of the peace deal in Kenya in 2008, Kofi Annan was a regular in Kenya trying to bring peace to the table. And it was painful to see because that's going to be my memory of him is this very calm demeanor, very Mandela-like, right? And there's this beautiful picture of the both of them um, who just for me speak volumes about the kind of leadership that Africa is capable of. So that was... That was heartbreaking, but they've left a legacy, both of them, Aretha Franklin, Kofi Annan. You really begin to think about how are you shaping your legacy so that the world remembers you in all this, these amazing ways. Um, and most recently as well was Senator John McCain um, from the US who also lost his life. So the fifth and final thing on my mind is the road to my due date, guys. Ooh, there's a lot. I'm, I'm feeling like it's much closer than it was said to be. But then again, I know sometimes that's what happens. I am due very soon. So I'm trying to get my um, hospital bag ready and that for the newborn. Done a lot of the shopping. Um, if I can, I'll try and do a what's in my bag. I remember last time I packed my stuff and the newborn's hurus in the same suitcase. I just find it more convenient. I had my corner. He had his. So I might do the same thing and just pack essentials. I'm going to the clinic this week because I've been feeling a lot of discomfort, a lot of pressure. I don't know. I'm definitely slowing down, extremely tired and a lot of discomfort. And someone told me that sounds like false labor and that just made me panic. So maybe it's not, maybe it is. I'm 36, going to 37 weeks. And so the road to my due date is here. And I'm hoping I'll be able to tag you guys along as and when I get the energy because I've been super exhausted. So bear with me. I'm hoping I can also vlog more consistently until then. And so, yeah, those are the five things on my mind. Hope you enjoyed it. And I guess I'll see you guys back when I try and do some kind of what's in my bag video, all my birth plans and that kind of thing. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Please keep subscribing. Thank you for 20K plus subscribers. Love you guys to bits and I'll see you soon.